there, darling hearts. It's Gaps Coach Emma here, Times Cookery. I've just had a morning of revelation and I'm so gobsmacked and excited and I really want to share with you my new toy. Um, it, it's, it's, um, I, I don't know whether I should be, you know, this is like, if this gets, this sort of thing gets into the wrong hands, it could be used for the wrong reasons. And we only want people who are strengthening the web of life, being generous. You know, if you're purely working selfishly, now being selfish is a good thing because you've got to look after number one because no one else is going to do that for you, right? So that's, that's not such a bad thing. But if you're, then you're operating purely selfishly, forget it, I'm not interested. You know, working in, you know, in honor of the collective. So you look after yourself so that you can then work selflessly, right? You'd be selfish, look after yourself and then go and help everyone else, yeah? So how about this? Electroculture. It's just blown my mind. I found this guy, uh, Cultivate and Elevate. Cultivate, Elevate on, on Insta. Been watching lots of his stuff. It's been really fascinating. It's just sparked some stuff in my mind. And then I saw this other really interesting young lady whose name escapes me right now, but she was talking about staffs and why uh, wizards and people will carry a staff it's so that they get grounded as they're walking if they're severed from the mother earth by the rubber soles on their on their feet on their sh of their shoes yeah so yeah you can harness the etheric energy of our realm right by making a little antenna and putting it on a stick right copper is in a conductor right so we all know about earth energy we all know about getting grounded how about grounding some of that etheric energy down to your plants you can do it with just a little stick with a little bit of wire right put one of those buy two courgette plants if you've got the space or two strawberry plants or two but you know go and find two plants from the same source at the same time plant them on the same day give one of them an earthing stick something like that that's a big one for a big garden and the other one not and see the difference i've already done my love apple experiment you know where you do the love and the hate cut an apple in half love one half hate the other half and watch and see what happens the hated half goes bad really quickly the loved half stays fresh longer so this is a similar thing right this is a similar thing you coil some copper around a stick Make a little antenna at the end, you know, and stick it in the earth where you want to harness energy, harness the etheric energy, right? Physics these days will tell you that ether doesn't exist, but believe you me, you are a big antenna and you picking up on the ether. <laughs> so what I was so excited about this morning, right, was when I was winding my copper around my stick, I was like, hmm, should I be going clockwise or anti-clockwise? Hmm, okay, I'll do two. So I did the two. And what did I get? I got a caduceus. This is what Mercury holds in his hand. You know, the winged messenger, the caduceus. It's the symbol of the medical in industry. It's the two snakes coiled and intertwining around a staff. There's their heads. There's one snake head, there's the other snake head, yeah? This is really, really deep. This is really big, people. Everyone got a caduceus if you want one. It's just a stick with some copper wire wrapped wrap, wrap, wrap around it, right? And then you stick it in the garden and see what happens. It harnesses etheric energy. Yes, it's a lightning rod, if you want to call it that. You know, we've been scared off it. People be like, ooh, you, what if you get struck by lightning? It's like, I don't know if I'd stand outside carrying one of these in the middle of a thunderstorm. But anyway, the caduceus, um, symbol of communication as well symbol of medicine, the winged messenger Mercury carries. All of these mythologies and stories have been showing us in our faces, in plain sight, the wonders and the mysteries of the universe. We're electric beings, we work with a charge, you know, everyone's talking about an alkali diet. We don't need to worry about alkali so much. What we need to worry about is the pH. Well, what the pH indicates is the electrical charge like a battery. We're like, every cell is like a battery. Battery cell, same sort of word, isn't it? We work electrically, yeah? It's so exciting. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to go and stick this in my garden and see if it perks up some um, plants that I just put in there that are looking a bit, looking a bit wilted and looking a bit sad. I'm going to try and bring them some etheric energy with my caduceus, with my wand, with my staff, with my um, ether harnessing equipment, which we all have access to. 
So no excuses. Hi Zoe, hi Charlotte, hi Lucy. No excuses. Um, get out there and investigate. Um, because these are the secrets of the universe, as it were. The secrets of this realm that we're in as 3D earthlings. We're like, we're in here. Some of us are thinking, oh my God, it's a hellhole. This is such so hellish. Everything's so horrible and terrible. There's just horror and terror everywhere. And then some people are, are, are investigating the potential, potential is another electrical term, of this realm and going and harnessing it and going, wow, oh my God. Wow, my God, remember, we're all divine sparks of creation. So you've got the God in you, you know, we've all got the God in us. <laughs> yeah. And yes, there's a big universal energy that some people call God, you know, but we're all a part of it. We're all in it together. Yeah, we're all divine sparks. And at every moment, you've always got the choice of, shall I do the thing that strengthens the web of life and strengthens me? Or shall I do the thing that weakens me or weakens the web of life? Like the little angel and the little devil. You know, if that, that's all it is, good and evil. We've all got it. It's all there all the time. And we've also all got the power, the potential to harness miraculous healing energies. So I'm wishing you all a beautiful day and that you be happy, healthy and well. That you find strength, that you find the path, you find the way, that you find your people, that you find enjoyment in your life because we're sensual beings. We're supposed to be enjoying life. We're supposed to be using our senses to fully experience this realm. And I've heard that there are beings unseen who are actually really envious of the fact that we have senses and that we can touch things and taste things and see things, see the colours and smell those beautiful aromas, you know, and hear beautiful harmony and music. You know, we're, we're, we're gifted, we're blessed, we're blissing here. We should be blissing out here in this realm. You know, but because of the horror, the terror, the weirdness, the, 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 the shackles, the, the collars, the cuffs, the chains, the slave food, the, you know, uh, because of the perceived um, enslavement, right, we, we can't enjoy it or it feels like we can't enjoy it. But once you see that you are free and sovereign to choose which path you take, the good one, or the, or the not so good one and if you never do take the good son the not so good one sometimes you've got to be just like ah, you know is what it is instant forgiveness now moving on i'm going to choose a different path next time you know is what it is instant forgiveness anyway darling hearts hi sue hi charlotte i hope you have a beautiful day and um go and check out <laughs> go and check out um how to make a caduceus with electroculture and see me at timelesscookery.com if you've got aches and pains and start to get with the program with the food as the medicine. And we talk about all sorts of other fascinating, interesting stuff that actually stimulates you to be able to enjoy your life. <laughs> so join the club. Lots of love. Bye bye, darling.